So I'm going to ask uh, the two graduates who we're honoring here today, if they would join me up here on the, the platform. Uh, this is, I think, maybe the first time here at South Main that we have had an opportunity to celebrate high school graduation. And uh, we are certainly excited that uh, Parker and Olivia are part of the family here at, at South Main. Um, I'm going to let them say just a brief word about uh, what their plans are in just a minute, what their plans are beyond uh, high school now. Uh, but I wanted to, uh, to share a couple of things about each of them that their parents have shared with me. Um, Parker has uh, just graduated from uh, Christ Church Episcopal School in Greenville. Uh, and Parker's parents have written about her. Parker is a precious gift from God. Doctors told uh, her parents that getting pregnant would take a miracle. And her mama says, I know God is in the miracle business and trust his plan. After a long, painful journey, our miracle was born. Parker has a huge heart and a shy soul. That's a good combination, I think. She's sensitive to those most others don't see. She's a dreamer. She's an artist. She's an overcomer. She's a fierce force when protecting those she loves. She is beautiful inside and out. God trusted us with his miracle, and now she will go out into the world to be the light that God calls her to be. So Parker, congratulations on your graduation. And on behalf of the family of faith here at South Maine, we would like to present you this Bible, the message, uh, which is my favorite translation of scripture, and uh, this prayer bracelet that says, a lot happens in seven days. Things change, plans fall short. Joys and sorrows weave through each day. As you travel on your journey, stop to take time for prayer. This bracelet has a strand to represent each day of the week. A special bead for every day helps you focus on God, family, friends, health, safety, our world, and requests. Let this be a guide to remind you wherever your journey leads, you are never alone. There you go. And also one of those for you. And Olivia, Olivia Powell, who I have a little special interest in, okay? Uh, Olivia graduated uh, on Thursday from T.L. Hannah High School. Uh, Olivia's parents have said about her, first of all, her mama, <laughs> my mini-me, which if you know her mother, that's a true statement. My mini-me graduates high school on Thursday, and I couldn't be more proud of her. Olivia is smart, beautiful, Talented, funny, caring, helpful, <coughs> loving, sincere, and an all-around amazing human being. I want her to live her life to the fullest, follow her dreams, be herself in spite of those who may shout, her, shout down at her, love herself and all of her quirks, and know above all else that I love her, support her in her endeavors, and will always be and then from Olivia's dad, my beautiful girl, who used to take naps on my belly, I gave her her first bath and many after, changed diapers and got splinters out of her feet, kissed boo-boos, laughed and dried tears. Olivia Powell graduated high school today. I'm so very proud of you. I'm so proud of the young woman you've become, and I know you're going to make this world a better place. For anyone you meet, I know you have for me. I'm excited for your adult life to begin. Your mother and I have your back. I love you, and you are amazing. So.
So, uh, yeah. I think it uh, it's kind of makes sense how these two young ladies have gotten to this place in their lives with the character that they display given the kind of parental support they have been given. Uh, and thank you parents for that. And grandparents as well too. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> yes. um, so today, uh, I've asked uh, Olivia and Parker to each have a part in our service. Uh, so Olivia is going to sing one of my favorites. I, I, originally, I was going to sing with Olivia, and then she came over to rehearse at the house yesterday evening, and I heard her sing, and I thought, no, I, I don't need to mess it up for her. <laughs> She can handle this uh, quite well. And then following Olivia's song, Parker is going to read for us our scripture of the day. So if you want to stay Thank you. 